Hey, good morning. Uh, it's not morning. I always say good morning, but this is afternoon, nice and sunny uh, afternoon here. So, uh, guys, I'm not going to talk a whole lot of stuff, but what I want to show you all today is uh, I bought the GS a while back, and I didn't know there is a plug that comes with the GS that actually it's under the seat. It's I think it's behind the pa I think it's a passenger or or the or the drive or the one the main the front seat. So what I want to show you all is to see how you can uh, use that plug to enable your pro riding modes. In this case, it would be a dynamic pro in the Enduro Pro riding modes. So, riding modes. So default, you only have a four mode: uh, rain, enduro. Uh, rain, Enduro, Road, and I think that's about it. And the uh, Dynamic, sorry. So this plug will replace the Dynamic and Enduro with a Dynamic Pro and the Enduro Pro. So with that being said, it's a lot of confusion I'm saying here. Uh, so let me show you all how you can plug that, uh, your the plug, how you can insert that plug and enable those Pro modes. That's what that's what I'm talking about. So let's do that, guys, and let's get on it. We're gonna do that on GS right here. It's just a simple simple plug that that goes in to the connector, which is right in here. And again, it's it's on the side where your where your battery is. So don't get confused uh, which side it is. It it should be on the it should be standard on all GS. So uh, it's on the side where your battery is. So let me show you. Uh, if I turn it on right now, uh, you see, I my default I have it to dynamic, but if I change the different mode from from here, uh, so I have a dynamic, enduro, rain, and road. So once I install chip, uh, the dynamic will change to a dynamic pro. So you will see here Dynamic Pro, and also uh, on Enduro, you will see Enduro Pro. And right next to here, you will see a little cheap icon, like something uh, something uh, uh, icon will appear. That's basically sh indication that you have installed the plug that came with it. So let's do that. I'm going to turn this off for now. Okay. Okay, hold this, this one, release, and you will see this cap will come out, and I'm going to do that. It was taking me, I just had to push different angle. There you go. So here is the cap, just came out. So here is the, here is the cap. We don't need that, but if you notice here, you have two pin here, right here. That's the pin where the connector will go, which uh, this connector we were talking about. So you want to make sure it goes in the right angle, right direction. And if you notice this on the connector, you have this two slide uh, socket right here. And it should, it sounds like it's going to align right here. So it needs to go in, 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 in this way. So if you see this, it needs to line up with, with here, with the connector and you can see there are two plugs in here right here and that will tie that will connect to this connector so let me just do that quick and you wanna you don't push it too hard you push it until you hear the click so you will hear the click there you go so I just hear the click and I think it's in so now next thing you want to do is secure this back to the socket so either you can leave it here where it was before so i just put it in right here you just want to make sure it stays when it's secured and doesn't get uh, 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 coming away on anything else so i just put it back to where it was so it can stay there but i think it looks like the connector is there so now let me put the seats back before I put the, all both seats back I'm gonna turn the bike on uh, let me zoom out a little bit 
so now I'm going to turn the bike on. And if you all see before, uh, when I turned the bike on, you were seeing the uh, Dynamic and Dynamic Pro. So what I want to show you now that we should see, there should be no error, hopefully no, <laughs> no error, but we should see the, uh, right now it's on a rain mode. You see this, this plug up here, this plug icon right here? That tells me that we have a chip installed uh, correctly. And then if I change the mode, you will see options of the mode we have. So we have rain mode, we have road, and there you go, Dynamic Pro. And then we have Endoro Pro right here. So that's how you can enable uh, uh, on your regular GS Dynamic Pro and Endoro Pro setting. It's available, it's just a matter of uh, getting a chip and plug in, getting, getting plug installed. Now, I wanna show you one more thing, guys. If you wanna modify this Endoro Pro or the Dynamic Pro setting, you can. I would leave it to a default right now because just see how the default setting looks because there are different settings out there. So if you go into the uh, setting option in here, so I'm gonna click the menu down and you have an option to go to the setting. And from here, I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna go to the setting menu. So let's go to the setting menu right here. Go in, in, in the menu. And then I think, let me see where that is. There you go, it's under vehicle setting guys, sorry. I, I was thinking it should be under system setting, but this is vehicle setting. So it's under vehicle setting. If you, you go into vehicle setting, and you see right here you have a dynamic pro mode and Endoro pro mode. Uh, this is a dynamic pro and Endoro mode. So let's say select, select the dynamic pro, and you go inside, and you have a different setting label that you can adjust. So your engine, your DTC, uh, and you can reset back to the uh, original setting. Uh, how, play with these settings. You can see right now you have a dynamic pro. You have a pretty aggressive throttle response. You can lower it down, uh, and same thing. You have a traction control and the wheelie suspension available as well under the DTC. So you can also uh, uh, lower that down. It looks like it's set to set to set to uh, full control. So uh, I, I just enable this. I'm gonna. Uh, leave it to a default and I want to see how it's going to do uh, for me But if you go into the Endoro mode, you we might see a different option like ABS and all that So here is engine So if you notice here your throttle response because you're gonna ride on off-road Endoro Pro mode Your throttle response is not set to full. It's probably uh, uh, One uh, it, it's set up to here. So if it goes all the way here that if it goes all the way here It's it's full and then if you look at your DTC traction control It's actually set to rain mode that's interesting that's your default setting for that and you can update your your setting by uh by using using a different uh 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 sorry that was a dtc that was an engine set to rain mode that's correct the traction control and the wheelie suspension on on the endoro pro is also set to full uh now Let's say if we go into the ABS, is integra in, uh, it's integral ABS for off-road riding is also enabled. So you can, you can it doesn't, it's not enabled, but you can adjust your setting based on your needs. I would, my recommendation is, and I'm not a pro by me, I'm not a pro or expert anything, but the recommendation is see how you like your default riding mode settings, and then you can always come back to the setting options and modify and see see how it does so